Hi, everybody. It's Father Ed Wade. It's uh, March 6th, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. As you know, look, I'm just getting ready to say Mass. I'll be saying Mass in a few minutes. And I've been thinking a lot about men, especially after I made that video a week or so ago for women. And I've been thinking about men. And I want to share some thoughts in the same way that I shared to the woman. But this is mainly geared for men. Let's pray. Father in heaven, I ask your blessings upon me as I share these thoughts with my brothers, uh, the men out there, young men, old men, teenagers, whoever listens, whoever pays attention to this, to listen, open up my mind and my heart, to share what I believe you are telling me to say. And I ask this always in and through your son, Jesus Christ, and I hold this cross to protect me and guide me. Amen. A few weeks ago, I said this video, and I said it to women, and I have a similar message for you guys, and I believe this is the Father, and so I'm going to share it. Uh, be with me. Pray for me. Pray for me. This is not easy, but I'm stepping out in faith. I believe the Lord would say this to you guys. As I spoke to the women a few weeks ago and I told them how much I loved them and that I saw them in the mind of my eyes before the world was created, I saw them and I placed them exactly where they are in the situations that they find themselves in so that I could work with them, through them, and in them. I told them how much I loved them and I needed them and I wanted to use them. And they're not orphans, but they're my daughters. And now I want to speak to you men. You are my sons. I created you out of nothing. Yes, you had a mother and a father. But that would not have been enough to bring you into life if I didn't put my finger and touch the egg and the ovum to create you. And before I created you, I knew exactly when you would be born and when you would die. And I have a purpose for you, a plan for you. And I am calling you to be my men in a time that it is critical in the history and the epoch of the times in which we live. I gave up my life for you on the cross. I spilt my blood for you on the cross so that you could look to me as your strength, your hope in all situations and circumstances that you find yourselves in. You have nothing to fear. I am with you and I am not lying to you. I speak the truth. I speak the truth. You are my sons and I've come to restore you. I've come to restore you and bring you face to face to confront what is going on in the world. Not to stay in the stands and look, but I'm asking you to roll up your sleeves, get on the field and start to play the game. The world is going to hell in a breadbasket and we need to see men of virtue, men of confidence. When I look to you in these days, I think of Judas Maccabeus and the Maccabees in the book of Maccabees and how these men stood up and started to protect my moral law and my moral code by declaring war on the usurpers of the truth. The war that I'm calling you to is not with armed military guns and weapons, but it's the power and presence of the Holy Spirit, the gifts of the Holy Spirit that you can find in the book, the first book of Corinthians. I call you to be equipped with these gifts. I call you all to be baptized in the Holy Spirit for Pentecost to be a reality in your lives. I call you and I want to free you from your fear of failure, the mistakes that you've made, the sins you've committed. For some of you who are experienced with pornographic infestation in your life, I want to set you free by the power of my blood. I want you to be my men. I want you to be men who I can count on. I want you to be husbands to your wives and fathers to your children. 
I want to you to be an answer to the problems and the crisis of the world, along with the women that I will give you in your life, your daughters, your wives, or future mates. I want you to honor them and respect them and not to use them and abuse them. You've called, you've been called to walk after me and to be my witness to the world. Lord Jesus, I ask your blessings upon all the men who are watching this video right now. I ask, Lord God, through the power of this cross, that you set them free from all diabolical infestation, from all confusion and darkness and false way of thinking. I ask that you bless these men, that you lift them up to the call that you, I have given to you, that I go into the streets and I go walking through the world, looking for souls, looking for men, as I did when I walked the beaches in the towns of in, in, in Israel. Lord God, I bless you. Look over and get these men. Get these men, Lord. Get these men. Set them on fire. And may the blessings of Almighty God be upon you, my brothers, in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I got your back, guys. I got your back. Go for it.